what we're going through uh, about especially about this pandemic on the coronavirus um, I'll advise everyone to keep safe as by washing your hands social distancing and generally maintaining personal Having said that, um, it's important to note the stress and anxiety that this pandemic has created globally. And to that extent, for me, it really has really brought to light the, the real need of emotional intelligence as a skill that each and every one of us needs to have. In today's session, I'll take us through an overview of emotional intelligence, what it is, what are the various competencies, what is the importance of emotional intelligence, and how emotional intelligence will help us or can help you in your day-to-day -day life. I'd like to begin by just demystifying really what is, what are emotions. Now, emotions are biological processes that uh, emanate from a part of a brain called the amygdala and the amygdala is um, concerned deals with issues of anger happiness and fear so it stems from that and consequently emotions are really intense feelings that we have towards a situation that is real or imagined and it's important to also note that these feelings then make us re re respond to some either positively or negatively in our environment. Now, the act of moving, responding positively or negatively is what is where now emotions come in. I'm sure you've heard of the term fright or flight, all right? And a good example of this is when you see a snake before you, what do you do? More often than not, I'm sure. You can tell the emotion has come. Another is I always tell people if you're standing at your door, it will go at your house. Big bag of money, then what would you do? You run towards it. So that is a good reward. That, that in it by itself is an emotion. Now back to what intelligence is. Now intelligence is a term that really is by various ways. But one thing is the fact that intelligence is two key components. The ability to understand, the ability to learn from your, to adapt to your environment, and two, the ability to learn from your experience. And for me, one of the main examples I give for this is a very common one, especially here in Nairobi. You know, one thing in Nairobi that Nairobians face is the traffic, uh, crazy, crazy traffic. So when you know that uh, at a particular time, traffic is going to be there'll be heavy traffic. What do you do? You either opt to either start early, all right, or use a different route, okay? The fact that you've decided to wake up or start early or use a different route, it means that learning has happened and two, you've adapted to your environment. So what then is emotional intelligence? again emotional intelligence or sometimes known as eq or EQ, is a term that i mean there's not really one definition that can define what emotional intelligence is all about but what people agree is, is that emotional intelligence itself with the ability to understand and manage your emotions and that of others in order to adapt your environment and influence your relationships with 